In today's video, we're going to find out what would have happened if Russell Westbrook joined the Golden State Warriors instead of Kevin Durant, meaning that he'd be playing alongside Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, Draymond Green, and of course, the most clutch player in NBA history, Andre Iguodala. Before we get to the season, I moved Steph Curry over to the two and Klay to the three, so that way all of our big three can be in the starting lineup. And you might be wondering, where's Kevin Durant? Well, he's over in OKC instead of being here in Golden State. With all that out the way, let's get into the simulation. So the season is almost over, and apparently Russell Westbrook and Steph Curry just dominated this year because we went 78-4. and Our guy Curry ended up winning the MVP award this season. And Russell Westbrook ended up making the All-NBA second team this year, averaging 29-10 and 10 on the season. Of course, with 78 wins on the year, we were the number one seed. I'm thinking we should run through the playoffs pretty easily. Round number one, we got the New Orleans Pelicans, and we're going to sweep them. Round two, we got the Memphis Grizzlies. We also sweep them. Conference Finals, we got Portland, we beat them in five, and now we've got Cleveland. Y'all remember, we were seeing the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Warriors go at it year after year around this time, so let's see if the Warriors can get the best of Cleveland in this matchup. Game one of the series is going to go to us, game two also goes to us. The Cavs do take game three, we take game four, and we end up winning in five. Russell Westbrook averaging a near triple-double in the NBA Finals, is named Finals MVP, as he averages 31 and 11 throughout our championship run. What an easy first year this was. We just got the chip like it was nothing. Now it's time for season number two. This is what the squad is looking like. We're still absolutely stacked. Let's see if we can repeat as NBA champions. The Brody taking home an MVP this season. Steph got it last year. Russ said, it's my turn. He wins MVP. This duo would be so fun to watch, man. They both made all NBA first team this season. Steph was great, but could you imagine these two guys playing alongside each other? I mean, the combination of shooting and athleticism would be incredible. Now, this season, we did come back down to earth a bit. We only won 66 games, which is by no means bad, but y'all saw what we did last year. Round number one, we got the Phoenix Suns. This should be pretty easy. We go ahead and beat them in five. Round two, we got the Minnesota Timberwolves. I think we should be able to get past them pretty easy. We're up three to two. Okay. This Minnesota team is pretty nice. I can't lie to y'all. I mean, they got the greatest podcaster ever in Jeff Teague, so we'll see how it goes. But y'all really thought we were going to go down in game seven. Nah, Steph Curry took a page out the Brody's book and dropped a triple double. You know, Russ had an off night, but it's okay. Oh my goodness, he's been selling these playoffs. But you know what? It's okay because our guy Steph's got his back. We're moving on to the conference finals against the Los Angeles Clippers. If we lose to Blake Griffin and DeAndre Jordan, I will actually be flabbergasted. Let's get to it. Game number one of the series is going to go to the Clippers. Game two goes to us. Game three to the Clippers. We're tied up at two apiece. Big game five on the way. We're trying to make it back to the finals to repeat. Hey, we show up in these big games. Clay with 34. You had Steph with 29. Russ with 24, 9, and 9. 8 of 23 is ridiculous, but you know what? We'll give them a pass because we're about to make the finals if we win this game six. And here we are. This Sixers team is all right for sure, but I think we got them. Game number one of the series is going to go to us. Game two also goes to us. We're up three to zero. What did I tell y'all? I knew we were going to take care of business in this series. Russell Westbrook, he's won both finals MVPs in this video. He's going crazy. We've got one more year of the simulation. Let's see if we can complete the three-peat. Now we're here for the 2018-2019 season, where the Golden State Warriors had DeMarcus Cousins. People thought this team was going to cook the entire league, but ultimately this squad didn't even end up winning the chip. Regardless, we're going to see if they can rewrite history this time and win the Larry O'Brien. Man, based on how this video has been going, the Warriors should have just tried to get Westbrook instead of getting KD. Look at the stats the Brody is putting up, man. Another MVP in the books for our guy Westbrook. Steph Curry ended up making All-NBA second team, averaging over 30 a night. And we were once again the number one seed, 66 and 16. Round one, we got the New Orleans Pelicans. Quite frankly, I'm not too worried. It is a 2-2 series right now, though. We're going to take game five, 
and they're gonna take game six could we get upset by new orleans right now let's get into it man game seven i hope we don't lose to this team oh my goodness they got cooked in game seven we end up winning by 39 and of course our guy the brody comes through with the triple double now we got okc in round two finally we get to see kevin durant taking on russell westbrook paul george is also here in oklahoma city game number one of the series is gonna go to us game two also goes to us game three is gonna go to okc and we're tied up headed into game five let's get some gameplay man i'd love to see russ and KD going at it we're tied up at 106 apiece minute 50 left to go in the game and we've got the ball steph curry has it at half court i see the brody over there in the corner let's see who's gonna go to work here Curry gets the screen from Kavon Looney. Looney's rolling to the basket. Kavon posted it up on Jeremy Grant. He's going to swing it over to Russ. Russ, the mid-range, and he hits it. There you go, Brody. That's a big shot from Russell Westbrook. I'm not going to lie. When that shot went up, I thought it was over. It looked like a bad shot. Shout out Paul George. Dennis Schroeder has it. Gets the screen from Durant. Schroeder, beautiful feed down to Jeremy Grant. That was a great find. I didn't see that coming at all, and Grant's going to finish it home. So we are once again tied after the the quick answer from Oklahoma City. Curry working his way to the basket. Hop step. He's going to swing it out to Russ. Russ fakes a couple times. He gives it back to Curry. Curry to the basket. Steps back. Out to Russ. The Brody with the shot clock winding down. Going to get the screen. He's got to make something happen. He pulls the three and he misses. So we're tied and OKC is gained possession of the ball. Paul George has it. George for three and he misses. Russell Westbrook snags the rebound. Now Russell Westbrook's going to give it over to Steph Curry. Curry, he's going to snatch back, pull the three, and he hits it. Big shot from the baby-faced assassin. There we go. 111-108, three-point lead here. Dennis going to swing it over to Hamadou Diallo. Diallo misses the three. Bo get the rebound. He's going to give it up to Russ. Russ pushing the pace, gives it over to Curry. Curry to the basket. Layup is good. And just like that, we have a very convincing five-point lead. OKC is going to need to get a bucket right now. Ball's going to go to Paul George. George for three, and he hits it. Wow, that was a tough shot. And just like that, OKC is back in the game. But of course, now Oklahoma City is going to have to intentionally foul. Hopefully, we send Clay or Steph to the line because those guys, they're knockdown shooters. I do not have a doubt in my mind that Clay's hitting these. First one is good. Second one for Thompson is cash. And OKC doesn't have any timeouts left. They're going to have to make something happen and quick. George working on Thompson. Spins over to Durant. Durant fakes a couple times. Pulls it over green and hits. Wow. The Thunder are back in this game. Beautiful shooting from Paul George and Kevin Durant. I know we're not rooting for them, but I mean, I just got to be honest. Now Steph Curry's at the line. First free throw is good. Second one for Curry is also good. And now the Oklahoma City Thunder have a chance to force overtime. Durant gives it over to Felton. Felton over to Durant from deep three-point range. And he misses it. This game is over. We win. We just need one more to make it to the conference finals. Shout out to Steph. 32. Russ. Pretty rough game. I'm not going to lie to y'all. 6 of 26 is ridiculous. But we still ended up getting the dub. We're one game away from the conference finals and we beat OKC once again. So now we've got to take on the Houston Rockets. This was the era of Rockets basketball where they had Chris Paul and James Harden. So we'll see how this series goes. Game number one is going to go to Houston. Game two also goes to the Rockets. We're down three to zero and we get swept. I did not expect that. I'm not going to lie to y'all, but we are unable to complete the three-peat. But regardless, I'd call this a very successful video as we won two championships. That's it for the video. Have a great day. Be sure to like and subscribe.